This is a chronicle of my personal experience exploring the underground car scenes of Japan. Follow my journey and discover the rich culture and history of street racing, drifting, and everything in between here in the land of the rising sun. This is The Hunters. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。Alright, guys, so we're heading over. It's gonna take us about an hour to get there, and it's good because the event starts at about 11. So, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it! In this episode, we're heading to a secret invite only meetup that is literally straight out of Tokyo Drift. In fact, this underground scene is directly and heavily inspired by the movie. It's a fascinating case study of where life literally imitated art. This is a meet that's fittingly called Back to the Furious. It harkens back to the street culture of the early 2000s. Where gaudy body kits, underglow, and NOS rule the day. Why did you start this event?、Um, it's so cool because the whole genre, and the,、yeah. we don't、uh, limit it to some groups. We,、yeah. we never limit it. And、uh, we, we really like to meet、uh, all the car cultures in the Japanese version. Usually you meet here at Umi Hotaru? No, that、uh, we're every time changing because of the sun forest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And today, Umi Hotaru, sometimes Tatsumi, sometimes Daikoku. And,、uh, this event is、uh, usually a secret. <laughs> yeah. So、uh, we're doing some DM, direct、yep. messages. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes, do police come to your event?、Mm, so often. Yeah. yeah. Because after the one hour, we will go to the other prison. Okay. So, that this is not the、uh, finish line, this is the start line. In special gatherings like this around Tokyo, you'll see an incredible variety of rides. From fully tuned Liberty Walk R35 GTRs, to Lamborghini Aventadors, to the real stars of the show. The most riser rides you'll ever see. He made us back to the Furious. Yeah, it's really, really. Cool t s h i r t And I also have one. Whoa,、yeah. nice. So, so that this name is Tokyo Night c o o l e r s This meeting name. Yes, yes, yes. Should we check out Mad Dog's yep, car? Yep. Like、yeah, wow. Yeah. And,、uh, his the, the trunk, the oh! And,、uh, oh! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Here, here, What? Look at this. This side. And, oh, ho, 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 ho. Cool. Yeah. Look、and、at that. Oh, there. Sunroof. Wow, this is so much custom work. Yes, yes. This is really crazy. Yeah. Look at this, he has a full NOS setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And、uh, it's really the car lifting with.、Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's、yes. air suspension. It's oil. Oh, wow. It's so interesting. Yeah. And even, even the wheels, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this, this is spin? Yeah. Wow. Do you think this car is very expensive? Yeah. He spent so yeah, much. Yeah, he spent very good parts and uh, yep. uh, so many details. Yeah. yeah. It's super expensive. If you can guess, how much do you think? 400 or 50. 500 Japanese. Oh man. And、uh, the pink one, his、yes. wife's car.、Yeah. Really? Yes. Oh wow. That's crazy.、Yeah. Okay, let's go look at that one.、Yeah. Wife's car. Wow. This is his wife? Yeah. She's the owner. Wow. It's got some of this. Wow. It's so much customized. Yeah. In a future video, we'll do a full tour and interview with the owner of this hot pink Civic, which is straight out of Too Fast, Too Furious. And that's one of the things I love about Japanese car culture. They take ideas and tropes from Western movies and seamlessly fuse it with their own style and impeccable attention to detail. Rice becomes art. You really enjoying this, this scene over here? Yeah, man, this is awesome. This is like my, my, my gig, you know? Like, hashtag bring on the glow back. Is it your people? My people. The Underglow people. I have always secretly loved Underglow, right? I've always just, just been waiting for the right time. You've just been waiting for the right time to come out of the closet about your Underglow love? Like, exactly,、yeah. exactly. Just chilling here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking shoes. This is terrible. <laughs>
Are you gonna beat that kid up? No, just remove his shoes and throw them into the sea, you know? It's kind of nice guy thing. Yes, yeah, that, that, that's a nice thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This guy is still editing. No, I just uploading. Okay. <laughs> uploading. A little bit of an upgrade. Wow, so you're, you're uploading. You finished editing? Yeah, what the heck? I finished editing when we pulled up, I just had to start rendering it. <laughs> How do you. We are almost at one. Come on, focus, you damn thing. Okay, come on, let's go. One. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. You got it. One hundred fifty thousand subscribers. This is gonna take about three hours. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's doing me a solid and, and subscribing with his alt accounts. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. okay reaction time. <laughs> almost there. All right. Almost there. Alright. All right. All right. Go for it. Kill it. Woo! 150k, yo! I get the free hoodie, right? <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, man. Man. Woo! Look at that beautiful, that beautiful number. That's gorgeous. That's it. That's, That's beautiful, gorgeous. right? And anyway, now we're gonna see it go down. <laughs> no, it better not. It better not. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start rolling out. Uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna work with so many people. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some good shots. But I'm gonna rely on Sam to do all the filming. I feel bad for all the rotary guys. They're like, crap. Five minutes isn't enough to warm up my motor. <laughs> Right. Give me 15 minutes. I'm going to blow an apex seal if you don't let me warm up for 10. <laughs> RX-8s are like the worst. Like engine-wise. Chassis and body-wise, they're amazing. Yeah. As the night goes long, we cruise from Umihotaru parking area to Ichihara service area. It's a straight shot there along the Aqua Line over Tokyo Bay, and the combination of the cool sea breeze and the Reiser underglow makes me nostalgic for, strangely enough, my own childhood, growing up in Vancouver where I was first exposed to tuner culture. To have the chance to be here in Japan, filming these cars which look like they came straight out of Need for Speed Underground 2, it feels like I've come full circle in a way. My 14 year old self would absolutely lose his mind if he knew that one day, 32 year old me would be here in Japan chasing these real life Hot Wheels cars in my own childhood dream car, my own Subaru Impreza WRX STI. I feel truly blessed to be able to document this glimpse into this aspect of Japanese car culture. As I edit this video while looking back on this day and contemplating what I experienced, I'm struck by several things. One is how organized and well Japanese the whole cruise was. Though their cars stand out and don't fit in with normal conservative Japanese society, the japanese of the community shines through in the level of respect that they show for each other by lining up and efficiently filling the parking lot with dozens of cars without making any trouble for anyone. Secondly, though their cars are all super, well, rice, that's actually exactly the point. The Japanese have a unique penchant for taking some aspect of western culture, codifying that style with rules that must be adhered to, and then showing appreciation for that culture through expressing it in as clean a way as possible with high quality parts, craftsmanship, and attention to detail. For me, what's most interesting is how these guys are basically reverse importing the Japanese car culture that was originally exported to America in the 90s, which then became the tuner or riser culture of the early 2000s, and was subsequently popularized by Need for Speed Underground and Tokyo Drift. It's fun to connect the dots and to see where this subculture is as much about showing respect for the original scene as it is about self-expression and the search for one's identity in the very rigid Japanese society. It's this merging of East and West and the back and forth feedback loop that's one of the most fascinating aspects of this subculture, which itself is a unique lens into Japanese culture as a whole. I am a starving Marvin. Oh look, go to Wide Cafe there. That shit's closed. Ooh. Everything's closed. This is so much fun. It is, it really yeah. is. For like nearly 2 a.m.? Yep. It's bumping. So we're heading home. Today was a really, really awesome day. I'm going to say goodbye <laughs> to all our friends. That was the one. Skasamadez. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so we'll catch you guys uh, in the next video. Alright, peace.